Oh my gosh, the first thing that I ever remember her saying to me is, she comes up to me and is like, I know where you live. <laughs> What's the word for notorious, but in such a good way? It's not infamous. <laughs> yeah, that's that's more like me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to wear a beard and we flirted a lot. And <laughs> Wow, that's continued. And it's never stopped <laughs> since then. I just need a beard. I have one at home. I'll go grab it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our wonderful podcast, Tie-Dye and Gelato. I'm Corey. I'm Angela. I'm Bailey. And I'm Sienna. And sorry if we seem just like a little bit punch drunk tonight. We just had the most fantastic butternut squash soup of my entire life. And I love butternut squash soup, and I grew up on very good butternut squash soup. So this soup, I mean, it was out of this world. Angela made it. That woman... She's she's a master. She's a chef. Coolest so, of our friends. So we're all just like, Seriously. we're just, at least I am. I'm just, I'm in a great mood because that soup made me really happy. Right. You make me really happy, Aww, Angela. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going through a soup redemption this uh, fall because I used to really not like butternut squash soup. And so now I'm like making it for myself and I'm like, actually, no, the soup's good. It's just whoever made it prior did not make it good she also just makes things up like it's amazing Corey's like yeah, can i get a, this recipe a liar. and she's she like just makes everything up. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like it just lives in my brain i just i just threw it together so incredible True. i wish i had your talent i wish i had her recipe <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say i wish i had your and then i was like i don't know <laughs> your I long wish, legs I wish I <laughs> your long legs all right well <laughs> <laughs> that's weird <laughs> i'm so sorry so maybe let's uh try to navigate this um to the topic at hand today we're just going to talk a little bit about how we met each other our first impressions and kind of what solidified our friendship so I think we're going to start with Sienna and Corey because they've known each other the longest. Starting chronologically. Okay. So me and Corey have known each other since third grade. I don't know how many years that is, but it's a lot of years. Probably like 15 or something. Whoa. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be something. And I have no memories of him in third grade except <laughs> that he he sat across from me. I remember that. And the only memory I have of him from third grade he he slammed my hand down on the desk and made me cry. <laughs> As I did. <laughs> uh, and that's really it. What do you remember? Um, Sienna, I always thought she was the coolest person. Wait, do you remember doing that? No. <laughs> no, you didn't. I remember no sitting across from her, and that's probably when it happened. Because I was a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. Like Aggressive. But I remember Sienna. I always thought Sienna was super cool. She had a really good friend and together they would like draw ninja worlds and mice worlds. And <laughs> um, she was good friends with Rebecca too. And um, I guess you were kind of my connection. Like that's how I, I became really good friends with Rebecca. She's still one of my best friends in the world. And I think it was kind of all through Sienna. But no, our, our first like years together, I don't remember them super well either. But we were in third and fourth grade together. And I do have a memory from fourth grade that I remember super well. It's where her and her friend were passing notes and our teacher caught them and like called them out and took them in the hall. I'm pretty sure. And Sienna came back crying about it. Well, I was like the classic good girl. Like I followed all the rules. And so I had never been in trouble before. I had never been in trouble before with a teacher. And she when she saw because she we had been passing notes and they were just like harmless notes. We were just like talking about random things. And I wrote one note where I said something like, I don't like this specific girl. And that was the note that our teacher picked up and looked at. It always <laughs> is. And she was, I mean, I remember her face to this day. Her face like fell. She was horrified. She brought us out into the hallway and I just cried and cried and cried. And she was like, go to the bathroom and clean yourself up. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Sienna ended up being the victim. In the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then since then, I mean, we, we stayed connected all through all through middle school and high school, but it wasn't until like high school that we became really good friends. I couldn't mm -hmm. even tell you what year, um, but it was probably, I think it was like sophomore year because probably. I, I didn't really hang out with any of you guys until 
sophomore year. Yeah. But I always thought that you were really cool and really fun. And mean. Yeah, and, <laughs> and aggressive. I, that, Aww, I, I remember you were. And evil. Two, two memories no. that come back to me for, about you when we were younger. <laughs> that one when you smashed my hand against the desk. And there was another one where you... Yeah, you choked me. <laughs> and it was not pleasant. If, if I always thought you were, Sorry. If you haven't been choked by Corey, you're not really his friend. <laughs> well, um, I guess next is Bailey and I. Is it? Yeah. I was the first to meet each of you. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm yeah, super you're right. cool. But Bailey and I met in middle school. Mm-hmm. I don't really remember how. You were just kind of always there. <laughs> yeah. I and guess- I always thought you were so annoying. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I don't know this. I was like, oh my gosh, this girl loves One Direction. Well, it's okay. Oh, yeah, and she's thing. so Listen. positive all the time. And she takes this one kid's side. Like she really likes him and I, I was, hate him. I was in a yeah, I was in a group of, of four. It was me and two other girls and a and a guy. Just and like this. Just like this. Wow. Wow. Funny how that works. Um, and I was playing, oh my gosh, seventh grade was not the year for me, man. It wasn't was, for any of us. I was I played very much a dumb blonde. I was really, it was not my, it was not my era, but yeah, I loved One Direction. <laughs> that was a core memory. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, that. Very defined in my brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's bad. I think, um, yeah, I, they didn't like you and you didn't like, but I was, I was like, I felt like indifferent towards you. I was like, I don't know. There he is. Corey. I think, no, I think this was Julie, our producer. I always used to steal your food. And I would specifically <gasps> steal your pretzels because you, I thought gluten-free pre- pretzels that you bought from Costco were way better than normal pretzels. I thought I loved Julie's mom's uh, the cook, the chocolate cookie. <laughs> yeah, well, she says it's so good. Yeah, it's and here's so the good. thing: is Julie is gluten-free and she's been for a long time, so that means. Corey was stealing one of the only things Julie could eat at school. <laughs> no, I did not steal. She gave them to me. Oh, okay. She gave them to you me. Okay, because she's the nicest. And, okay, I sort of stole. But <laughs> I remember, like in middle school, I would take like little bits of everybody's lunch. I would never get lunch for myself, but I would take everybody's lunch. And You're I, right. I'm pretty sure I used to take your lunch, yes. Bailey. And you never let me that. take your grapes. Those, those are like oh, holy I, to you. I never did it. That continued throughout all, all of high school. Still now, I can't. Uh, that's don't mess very with baby's sacred. Grapes. No. I testify. It is she so they are grapes. so sacred. I don't know why, but they are. They're so good. Anyway, that anyway, was how. Yeah, I don't remember any. Not really how we met. That's like that's how like the how circumstances. We, I don't remember the exact moment. I don't remember either. The only I mean, person that I remember is Angela, really? and she remembers it way better than I do. Well, we have to talk about how Sienna and Bailey met first, and then oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was a My late bad. entry into the group. You were. Do you even go here? <laughs> Are you even part of this podcast? Well, <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, yeah, Sienna and I met. What grade was it? Sophomore. So it freshman was freshman year? year. So freshman year, I was a total loner. I had no friends, and there was this girl. Thais, we'll just say her name because she's amazing. I adore her. She also took all our photos and we Um, love her so much. Thais is incredible. And um, so I had no friends, complete loner. And we had biology together, me and Thais. And uh, I don't know, there was something about me. She decided to adopt me. She was like, she said that it was like her goal to like bring me into her friend group. And so I still remember the end of freshman year, she introduced me to all of her friends and you were one of them. And I don't remember my first impressions of you, but all throughout high school, I just thought that you were like the coolest person. Like, if I'm being honest, you kind of intimidated me a little oh bit my God, because you were like so cool. And I was like, you're way too cool to be my, be my friend. And it wasn't until we roomed together mm-hmm. because me and Bailey, we lived together at BYU-Idaho after after high school. And we weren't even like great friends at that point. But we were going to BYU-Idaho together, so we were like, let's just live together. Mm-hmm. And um, it wasn't until then that, like, I really got to know you and I realized, like, whoa. like we me and, like sisters then. Yeah, me and this girl get along. Like, mm-hmm. we have so much fun together. Yeah. Um, I remember coming to you. Do you remember when I came to you and I asked you if you wanted to be roommates? Because I knew that you were going to BYU-Idaho and I wanted to go as well. Mm-hmm. And it was at the lunch table. I remember. It yeah. was at the lunch table and I like <laughs> slid in and I was like, so uh, <clears throat> you want to be roommates? And Can I ask episode... why you asked me? Like we weren't that well, cause I, close. I, I don't, <laughs> well, because here's the thing. So I had heard, isn't it like a thing that if you room with your best friend, it's just not very good. Yeah. And so, I don't know. Society. That was kind of the thought process. <laughs> but it, yeah, but it's just like the, like the thought process behind it is like you room with someone who you know. 
who you like know some things about and you know that you get along with them that you have some kind of common interest with but you're not like super good friends with them because then that will further your relationship and make it more solid and it totally did like we became such good friends we became such good friends we did i want to i want to take a minute to talk about demented baby beatrice listen <laughs> no. yes so so <laughs> flashback to high school me and Corey went to prom together and i told him that i was going to make him a boot and ear not a boot and ear <laughs> a boot and an ear so i got together with with julie and we we got together to make this boutonniere. And so I bought from the dollar store this little tiny, like, terrifying baby doll. <laughs> and I cut its ear off. <laughs> and I pasted it to this boutonniere. And then I got, like, an action figure and I stuck its boot on there. <laughs> so that's what he wore I to I still have it. It <laughs> is on. You really? Yeah, it's on my fridge at my parents' house. I still have it. That's incredible. That's <sighs> I was so proud of that thing. But then I had this like really, really freaky doll with an ear cut off and like part of its face was cut into as well. And I brought it to school for some reason. <laughs> I actually think my older brother stuck it in my suitcase without me knowing. Yeah, in college. Uh huh. And I think that the moment when we really bonded, we started to make. <laughs> you want to explain like the videos we would make? We made like, I don't even know how it started. We were just bored one day. It was Christmas. It was, yeah, it was the winter. So we were almost. Was it finals? I don't even know. But we were so stressed. And one day you just like brought out this demented stinking baby. And it, it was like, it was, it looked really dented. Cause didn't your brother, Freaky. didn't your brother like smash it more or something like that? Yeah. So it its was face super was just smashed like really, and all of its like stuffing was taken out. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just really, it was just really weird. Like you, anyway, so we went, we like made a series of videos just uh, documenting this baby's life <laughs> and document like us as well. So like we took, we took her out to the snow and yeah, we like named her Beatrice. And my, my favorite video, you were like, let's play with Beatrice in the snow. And I was like, okay. And I drop kick her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then when I drop kick her, kicked her, her, her other, <laughs> so she had one eye was cut into. <laughs> and when I drop kicked her, her other eye fell out. <laughs> we have it was like so funny. We we posted all of these on Instagram and so many people were like, "What is going on?" Cuz it was just a series of random videos one right after the other. And that was when I realized like me and Bailey would be friends for life. Yeah, it was so fun. Oh my gosh, that was yeah, a core memory in our friendship. I still go back and watch those videos frequently cuz they're so funny. Sienna actually makes lots of videos. They're so She good. has the funniest videos in the world. Yeah. And we, I didn't, it wasn't a date with you, right, Sienna? Who, who did I go with? No, it, it was. Are you talking yeah, about the was, Mediocre Four? Yeah. Was that yeah. prom? No, it wasn't prom. It was just a date. It was just a date. It was just a date. We did this video. It's hilarious. Called the Mediocre Four. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest part is Sienna, Sienna's commentary. <laughs> Her and Sophie are just hilarious, but she has tons of funny videos. In high school, I loved making videos. I, I have not made videos in a very long time, but when I was, when I was younger, I wanted to like go into that. Like I loved making videos so much. Man. Fun fact about me. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let's cool. move on to Angela. <laughs> Finally, she comes in. Man. Okay, Angela. Angela was late to the party. I was late to the party. You came party. in what, junior year? Mm -hmm. When we were in high school? You yeah. moved here from Logan, right? I did. Okay. Yep. Do you want me to start at how I met you or what you guys thought of me? And then I'll tell you because I got all you, the details. You, because yeah. you haven't talked very much, so you oh. go. Yeah, you go. Okay. So we can thank Julie for l me meeting all of you, or at thank least you, Julie. she told me about all of you beforehand. So Julie and I met in the summer because we were both playing tennis together. And I honestly kind of thought Julie was weird because she talked to the new kid while we were like running bleachers. And I was like, this is horrible. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my> Julie. <laughs> Poor Ju that was the beginning of the bullying. <laughs> the, the mental... No, I think once Set I met up. you, you like fed into me. Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, okay, so then I met Corey next. It was the first day of school. It was also Corey's birthday. Hey. And he had blue hair. And that was and that's literally it mostly was, all I remember. It was really ugly, nasty, like grown it, out it blue was. hair. It was like the like green blue kind of color where it's like faded, so faded over the summer. And it's like you first look at him and he looks normal. And then you look again and you're like, is his hair supposed to be that color? It was like that kind of blue <laughs> hair. There's a question though. 
So he had the blue hair. Was he also wearing his poncho and his tie-dye pants? Not yet. Because oh. it was a whole look. Because I don't think he got, had his tie-dye pants at that point. Because I remember. I had them senior I, year. No, I did. Did you? I'm pretty sure I did. I remember. Was it the tie-dye uh, cardigan that you no? got No, Julie's later? saying no. She probably remembers it better than I do. Yeah, because you guys had a tie-dye party the next summer. Oh, that's right. And I think that's right. when you got that's your tie-dye right. pants. Yeah. Yeah. I did bully you for some of your uh, looks in high school, though. Your, like, bright green, like, family reunion hoodie, and then you wore <laughs> the grandma tie-dye cardigan over it. That was not no, a No, listen, look. it wasn't a family reunion. <laughs> Nicola's sister, Kylie, had made that for me oh. for, our, for our date, and I thought it was the coolest thing. And after I came back from my mission, it just, like, disappeared. I don't know where it went. But she had, what's it called? Like, stitched? An embroidery machine? Yeah, she had embroidered just, just this really cool, like, snowman and, like, a Christmas tree. And it said Merry Christmas below it. But I did have a hideous <laughs> sweater that my grandma made. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. But you, she knows it, it was hideous. The sleeves are, I still have yeah, it. it was the sleeves are different lengths. Yeah. It's made out of these grandma squares <laughs> and the ugliest yarn in the world <laughs> okay so it wasn't ness it wasn't even the sweater like the jacket was fine it was just like you like paired them together and i was like first of all you're so hot you're wearing a sweater and a you jacket think I'm hot? <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but also it looks really bad <laughs> we got very side Corey is very eccentric yes fashion. you still are but anyway okay keep going oh his well, fashion a- or just his personality because both. both yeah yeah yeah, let's see. I met you on your birthday. You had blue hair. Julie was very excited to see you on the first day of school. And I just like trailed along with Julie. <laughs> I was her puppy. <laughs> I was like, I need friends. <laughs> and you probably talked to me for like two minutes. And then we went to a se- an assembly. And then I don't think I talked to you for like another two months. Did I not say, I like have this memory. I don't know if it was when we met, but I remember asking you like, do you even go here? <laughs> you You're like, do you even go here? And I was like, I yeah. started today. I'm a super welcoming person, so. <laughs> um, I met Sienna next because it was, I was like touring around the school because it was like new kid day at school. And so I showed up to this class that no one else was there because I was a junior coming in on like freshman new kid day. And I was like, I don't know what's happening. And someone was like, oh, everyone's in the theater. And so they like pulled me into the theater and the entire cast of the high school musical is sitting there while the director is like giving notes and all these things. And I walk in and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? And then the director starts talking to me and they're like, oh, this is who, where are you coming from? What are you doing? Do you want to see our set? And I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I just don't want to like have the attention on me. And Sienna was part of that. So I know like Sienna has a memory from that, but then we had a class together at that theater class that I showed up to and we probably connected more there. And I know Julie introduced me to you also, I think on the first day of school, but I also remember Constantly being like, Julie said she was a really cool person, and I wish I could be her friend, but Sienna doesn't talk to me. <laughs> it's because I was shy. I know. It's because I was shy. But here's the thing. So so my memory of that day, I, I remember it very clearly, and I remember that our, our theater teacher, she said uh, she called you Angela New Girl. And so oh, yeah. I <laughs> she did not. And so for like a, like for a few days or weeks after that, we all we would all call you Angela New Girl. Yep. Um. And uh, but but getting to know you, Angela, because I remember like you were this you were this tall new girl. <laughs> like, I wasn't tall at that point. Though. Uh, you seemed tall. Your 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 personality. You, you, you were you were confident. You know, like I just remember being like, okay, she seems really cool. She seems really collected. And all of that, and getting to know you was like slowly opening a present. <laughs> like I don't know how else to describe it because it was like as I got to know you, I was like, oh my gosh, this girl is just as crazy as me. We are, we are, they are soulmates. We're meant to be together. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's true. It was just like, like I remember just being like continuously like so amazed and pleased that you were just like me, and we were like on the same level of crazy (laughs) but I think that neither of us came off that way like we both were that crazy underneath our shyness Mm -hmm. if that makes sense 
And I think that I don't I don't know when we really truly bonded, but it might have been when we did that scene from the Twelfth Night. Oh yeah, we did a scene where she was with Olivia. Yeah, and I was Viola, but I was Viola dressed as a man, yes. and Olivia was in love with me. It was a good thinking scene. I was a man, and so I got to wear a beard, and we flirted a lot. And <laughs> wow, that's continued. And it's never stopped <laughs> since then. I just need a beard. I have one at home. I'll go grab it. <laughs> A slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, definitely that. And then another very core memory, which I we had already been like close at this point, but when we did Shakespeare Festival and we made all those videos in our hotel room. Amazing. That was incredible. And I, and like Bailey saying that she still watches the baby Beatrice videos. I still watch those videos. And I'm like, first of all, I was such a dork in high school, but also like my friends are pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> those videos were really fun. Yeah. We would like, the boys would send us a video and then we would send them a video and we were all just I mean, so we were tired, but also <laughs> we thought we were so funny. We were and comedic we are, geniuses. Like looking back, we were. <laughs> oh my gosh and then last but definitely not least was bailey so bailey i feel like was what's the word for notorious but in such a good way it's not infamous <laughs> yeah, <I don't laughs> that's more like me <laughs> popular um, any know. but like she i was told about bailey that might have been one of the first people julie told me about because I lived on the same street as Bailey. Oh my gosh, the first thing that I ever remember her saying to me is, she comes up to me and is like, I know where you live. <laughs> I was because, like, what? Because Julie pointed it out. She was like, you live on the same street as Bailey. Bailey lives down there and Bailey does theater too. And I know you like theater. So Julie had kind of like been like, these are cool theater people you need to know. She Julie was just setting us all up. Yeah, Julie didn't <laughs> yeah, say... Bailey is the star of the musical okay. and like the school starlet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And so I was like, oh, I need to get to know Bailey. Then I go see the show and I was like, there is no way I can be Bailey's friend. She is way too cool for me. Bailey, I don't think you remember this. Oh. I sat behind you in study hall the entire first semester that what? I was in high school. And I knew it was you because you came to school with your hair and curlers and you had your cute little <laughs> bandana on because you were in the show. And I knew who you were and where you lived from the beginning. No, for a semester? <laughs> I was like straight up a stalker. Okay. But I was like, Julie told me about this girl. I've seen her in the show, so I know who she is. Yeah. I know where she lives because Bailey told me. Well, and she's so cool. But I just like didn't have the courage to like go up and talk to you because you were like way cooler than I was in my eyes. I mean, you're still cooler than I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's because like, I, like, I, I feel like we had like a really just like acquaintanceship yeah. for a lot of, especially like the first semester that you were here. Yes, we were, you know, I, we were in the show together, but you did, you know, you did costumes. So, uh, you know, I would go get fitted by you or, you know, just whatever we would you know work together in that way it was kind of like a professional relationship <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like i was like hi angela i'm here to get you know this angela and, was she'd, the and she'd, you know what <laughs> <laughs> bailey's dealer <laughs> my dealer <laughs> um but yeah she'd you know do measurements and then that would be basically it so i don't know but then yeah we just i don't even know like how we, we, we became friends english together senior my year senior year next year yeah the next yeah. year so we definitely knew each other i think my entire junior year it was definitely more like an acquaintance relationship mm -hmm. because i was friends with a lot of your friends mm -hmm. and so we'd like see each other and do things like in large circles together but yeah. we didn't do like small circle things together mm -hmm. and then until senior year and then we had the best english class i ever had together and we read The Color Purple. Like, we were yeah. in that, like, Oof. book group together. And so that's Good a really book. hard book. It was, it was a really hard book. honestly, like, bonded Bailey and I. Well, we because were like, this is so yeah. hard. It's because she was, our teacher was like, this, you have to be very mature. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to be very open with me about how, like, how you feel. Be open with your group and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm getting to know all these people in the group. And so, yeah. yeah. That was with all of our books. I think we were in a lot of, we did Man Search for Meaning. Was mm -hmm. that... Yeah, we, and we did 
I feel like another book as well together. Our whole class did Kite Runner. Oh, that's which, the one that I'm talking. That, that I'm one, of. yeah. But we like begged our teacher to let us sit next to each other, and she trusted us to do that. And that was a mistake on her part, but it's fine. <laughs> we <laughs> we sat like front row, middle. Yeah, this is <laughs> a really weird like memory. But we discovered Dear Evan Hansen together. Do you remember that? Before yes. it was like even Before popular, it was popular, you were like, "There's this new musical we have to listen to," and I think we listened to a couple songs, and I was like interesting Mm -hmm. and then we like later we're like oh my gosh it's huge yes yeah it was yeah can i just say there's part of me that is like kind of amazed that we got bailey yeah (laughs) oh Oh my my god God. (laughs) like she was the like she has always been the popular one the cool one the pretty one all the talented all the guys liked her in high school all the guys (laughs) and we were like the weirdos we were the misfits (laughs) But we got her. We got, we got her in the end. That might be the biggest victory of my life. I think oh so. I know. my gosh. I don't even know. I don't even know how I ended up with you guys. <laughs> She's like, Dang. I don't know. I don't know what wrong turn I took. But... <laughs> Oh Suddenly God. she doesn't know if she's sure about this podcast yeah. and if she wants to further this relationship. Yeah. But I'm so glad I did, man. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so yeah, it was just I don't know. I'm really I'm really glad I did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how we all like ended up together. Is it because all our all of our friends got married? <laughs> and then so we were like, I don't know, we're single. Let's get to, let's all yeah, bond dude, together. All of our friends are married. We are like the only ones left who are single. Cheers, let's go. <laughs> Wasn't it Julie's wedding? We weren't really no. like hanging out before that, right? So I, I mean, because um, I, I was friends with all of you after like post high school, and I think that like I I don't I don't really know. Well, I would see Bailey because I worked with her. So Uh we were close. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really saw you, Angela. You came over to our apartment a couple times. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think, well, because Bailey would come over to our apartment before she left on her mission. Mm -hmm. And then both Sienna and Corey came over to our apartment a couple times after they got back. And then Bailey got back. And I don't know exactly when. I think it was our trip. Yeah, I think it was that trip to San Diego that really solidified our friendship. I mean, Ooh. I think that we were all friends after high school, but it was that trip that bonded the group together. That was an amazing trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I love you guys. And on that note, I think we'll uh, wrap this up unless someone has any more comments. More burning questions. Right. Well, I think that that's about it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I guess that we'll see you next time. Bye.